She suspected it was her own mom that threatened her girlfriend because she's been trying to force her daughter to date men. She's been dating this woman, and this woman kind of just like goes to her and goes MIA, even though they've been together for a while. And the only thing like she can think of is that my mom intervened in some capacity and scared her away. Hey, Stephanie, thanks for joining us back. Hey, morning. Morning. So, just because it's been a minute since we talked to you because of vacation. So, if you can, uh, for those that may have missed, uh, just kind of break down what's been going on with you and your girlfriend and why you think your mom was the one that caused the relationship to end. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, everything was going well. And I I'd, I'd had the conversation in advance with my mom that I was dating uh, this woman and she basically said she wanted me to be happy. And I thought, you know, I thought it was genuine. So I got up the nerve to introduce her to my girlfriend. And it seemed like, you know, overall, the introduction went well. But then, you know, within the, the two months after meeting my mom, my girlfriend just kind of faded out to the point where she she just kind of ghosted me. And, and you know, I, I tried reaching out, trying to see, you know, did something happen, what was going on, and it was just, just no response. And it was totally, totally weird. So the only thing I could think of was, you know, maybe, maybe my mom said something or maybe something happened, you know, when I stepped away. I, I don't know, but I, there was nothing else that I could think of. We didn't have an argument. I have no clue. I did feel it was odd because how long had you guys been together? We had been together for over a year. Yeah. Like th- that's a long time. Right. And just to kind of like fade away and to ghost on somebody. Um, so yeah. did you, did you end up talking to her? Uh, I did. That's a heavy I sigh, Stephanie. Finally, Uh-oh. I did. So I finally, because I actually wound up sending an email, and so she agreed to, to talk. Um, and she she said it was my mom. She said that my mom pulled her aside and basically said she was a nice person, and she, you know, she thought she was cool, but she didn't think she was the right fit for me. And if she knew what was best, she would just kind of walk away and not mention the conversation, which is why exactly what she did. She just, that's why she ghosted me. And I was like, I was completely in shock because I just, my mom never said anything. She never said anything. It, It was just totally, totally weird. And, you know, so I, I basically told her that I, you know, I still wanted to be with her. I still wanted to work it out. I was sorry that my mom did that to her and made her feel that way. And she told me she still loved me and she wanted to be with me, but she's, she's been through this before. And she knows it's hard when the family doesn't approve. And then you, you're trying to, you know, work through the hurdles of family, you know, just family dynamics, what have you. And she said, she just, she didn't want to have to go through it again. Mm-hmm. So, have you decided yeah. if you're going to... Did you say something to your mom, Stephanie? I did not talk to my mom yet. Um, Are you? I, I, I know I want to. I need to. And I'm, you know, because I'm hoping that maybe if I can, if I can work this out with my mom, then maybe... I have another chance with my girlfriend because, you know, we both said we still want to be together. Um, I'm just, honestly, I'm just so frustrated and I'm hurt that my mom would do this and not even say anything. Cause even since, since, you know, my girlfriend and I broke up, you know, my mom, it's like, it's like nothing happened. Yeah. Like my mom just, and so, yeah, it's, it's a lot, but it, yeah, I definitely, I definitely want to talk to my mom. That's heartbreaking, and I, I commend your patience because I, I have no idea how you have not said something to your mom already. Like, I I wouldn't be able to hold that for, for even a second. I mean, for her to just pretend like this never happened, knowing what you must be going through inside, I, I, I just can't imagine a world of where you don't explain to your mom how this is truly affecting you. Well, because the thing is, I, I mean, I didn't want to lash out at her, and, you know, I was just, I don't know. I'm, I'm hurt, I'm angry, I'm frustrated. But I don't want it to. This is exactly what what my girlfriend was saying. She she doesn't want the challenge with my mom to affect our relationship. So I'm like, I kind of have to handle this away so that 
I can maintain my relationship with my mom and, and hopefully she can come around and see that what she's doing is not, is not cool, but also understand that my girlfriend really is a great person and we really are great together. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. It's, you know, I, I think it's a great idea in theory to talk to your mom and try and handle it. So it hypothetically removes this issue and this roadblock between you and your now ex. But I got to tell you, like if I was dating somebody for a year and if something happened, no matter what it was, if I'm with somebody for a year and they don't have the courtesy and the respect for me to sit me down and say, hey, I'm leaving this relationship and here's why. Yeah. To me, that tells me everything I need to know. I'm out at that point because you're communicating to me that you don't have those communication skills and those, those, um, that toolbox to be able to handle conflict and roadblocks in your relationship. So while I know it feels like unfinished business and there's a lack of closure because it feels like, well, if my mom just accept, accepted us, we would be fine. I think she's really telling you everything you need to know in terms of how she's going to handle these kinds of issues in your relationship. So I think you honestly are wow. better for it being out of it. Wow, I didn't even look at it like that. Like wow. I don't I don't begrudge her cuz obviously there's past trauma there and she doesn't this relationship and not being accepted um and you know obviously that's it's not something that she's willing to endure again and I don't blame her, right? But I wish she could have communicated that to you. Um, so you could yeah. have understood better rather than her just like ghosting you after a year together. I agree. But I feel like she can work on some stuff. And then I, I actually commend you. Like you're, uh, instead of like blowing up at your mom and run into her, you're actually trying to sort through your own feelings and emotions. Um, I think you do that. And I think, I think at some point you do need to have a conversation. I don't even want to call it a confrontation, but you need to have a conversation with mm -hmm. your mom. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Right. Um, Steffi, that's not the update that we wanted, and I'm so mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah, but it's, I mean, at, at least we know now, and, you know, I just got to figure out how to move forward. The Burt Show.